morning. Welcome to my channel, Dougie Shaven. The sun is coming up here in Austin, Texas. It's time for my morning shave. In my stone crop pottery mug this morning, I have fresh ground whole bean Thanksgiving Coffee Company. This is Zappo Tech Power Line. Getting my morning started here. And in my Hendrix Classics and Company stainless steel bowl with my Wild West Brushworks brush, I have whipped up for you this morning the one, the only barrister and man, Marilyn. Absolutely incredibly complex scent on this one. It's got amber, bergamot, cedar, clary sage, to name a few, but very, very pleasant and, and makes a great lather. So this morning, I'm going to be starting off with a little bit of Pro Rasso pre-shave. And then I'm going to be finishing up with some Ariana and Evans. This is their skin food. Of course, I've got my Thayer's. And my razor choice of the day is my Razo Rock Titanium. This is the big long handle, which I really like. It fits well. Let's get rocking and rolling. It's been real cold the past couple of days here in Austin, Texas. Super, super cold. And, uh, and the wind has been whipping. I'm talking 35, 40 miles an hour. So, um, it's just been, it's just been real crazy. Uh, it was cold last night. We got down to 24 here at my house. So can't get out on the putting surface this early. They got to let the green thaw out so you don't mess up the, the, the grass. Nobody's golfing this early this morning, but I'll be able to get out a little bit later on this afternoon. Hit the range before I play tomorrow. Love this Pro Rasso Pro Shave. Really softens the beard. On Shave Tech, we just had a show on skincare, and skincare is really important to reduce irritation. And anything that will help your shave along, you know, you should try to, to try to use. And that's why, you know, I, I always like to use a pre-shave or a pre-shave oil, something of that nature to kind of uh, lubricate my skin and make it, make it work a little better. UT men's basket, uh, baseball just uh, started it up yesterday. First game, we're not ranked this year. All of our big players from last year have now gone. What a great scent on this. It really is very pleasant, very complex. Will Carius from Barrister and Mayor, he is known for his wonderful, complex scents. And look at this lather. It's absolutely wonderful. Yeah, so UT baseball, we played the Diamond, uh, the the Razorbacks, Arkansas Razorbacks yesterday, and they're ranked fifth. We had quite, quite a challenge on our hands, and uh, we lost, but it was two to three. So we held our own, and 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 that that's 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 a big part of the deal. We're doing three passes today, folks. First passes with the grain. I love this Razo Rock. Really efficient. Very light handle because of the titanium. Oh yeah, wonderful shave. Wonderful shaver. So Tiger Woods is back at it this week at the Genesis Invitational in California. You may remember this was the tournament where Tiger crashed uh, a few years ago. And uh, he shot a, a respectable 69 on the first day. 
and then shot a 74 uh, yesterday. So he made the cut, you know, and he said before the tournament that, that it, you know, he thought that he could win this. He said if he didn't think he could win, he probably wouldn't play. But good to see him back out there. He was with his good buddy. Uh, he mentors uh, the young Justin Thomas, who is a very great up-and-coming player. And uh, they're very close friends. And uh, they're always egging each other along. That's just the way that they do. And they, we do the same thing, you know. I mean, when I'm playing with the fellas, you know, we're always talking caca. That's the way it is. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's the way it is, especially if money's on the line. Um, but so Tiger pipes one way past down the fairway on, on, on Justin and, uh, you know, it's just egging him on. And as they're walking down the fairway, uh, a tiger hands him a tampon <laughs> and, and he's gotten a lot of slack from that, but I, I thought it was funny. <laughs> they caught it on camera and everything. It is just, uh, I thought it was funny. Oh man, great, great first pass. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. So this is the Omni Base from Barrister and Man, and I really like the combination of ingredients in this for its really creaminess. It's good post shave feel. And it's just a, it's just a really wonderful, wonderful base. And uh, this is, uh, Maryland's pretty much sold out everywhere. So if you didn't scoop it up when you had the chance, you know, you, you're probably out of luck. But a really great scent nonetheless. Will he release it? I don't know. The Barrister and Man was founded in, in 2013 in March in Boston, Boston, Massachusetts. Now uh, they're out of uh, Hartwick, New York. Um, the founder, Will Carius, you know, uh, it, it just is a, a very, very nice artisan. Just recently supported the Shave Tech show which we are very thankful for, Will. Thank you for your gener generous sponsorship. We're going across the grain now. Now, a barrister is a type of British attorney and man with two ends is kind of like a stylized man. which I think is pretty cool. I think that's a great name. And Will started out kind of like I did, uh, making pucks first. I'm working into my, uh, everybody's been asking, hey, we when are we gonna get the, the uh, tens or I'm working on it. I'm burnt out, man. <laughs> I'm just burnt out. We've been working so much at work and, you know, it's just like. What can you do? But uh, so he started out doing the pucks as well. And eventually you know, went into his containers and stuff. And I'm going to offer both, I think. I'm going to do both at Dougie Shaven because some people like pucks, some people like their containers. So, oh, great shave with the razor rock. I've got an Astra blade in this bad boy, and I've never had a bad shave with an Astra. I mean, they are so consistent, and that's really important in a razor blade. Uh, a lot of times, you just don't see consistency in a razor blade. You'll get one that's good, and then another one that, 
you know, was not so good. And Astra is very consistent in their blades, as is Feather. I, those are two, two of my favorite, favorite double-edged razor blades. But this Omnibus base... I mean, it is so easy to lather. Now, as a soap, it's it's very it's very soft in in its consistency. My preference, you know, it, it depends. I like a harder soap, but that being said, this being such a a, a soft soap in the tub. Um, it lathered up really well. I mean, look at this thick lather. Knocking down my 24 hour beard growth. And uh, of course, this Wild West Brushworks brush really helps out. Okay, now we're going against the grain here. So Tiger made the cut. We got a lot of big a lot of big tournaments coming up. We got the players, we got the masters. The Texas Swing is getting ready to start here where we have the Byron Nelson and uh TPC San Antonio. I've played both those courses and I got to say they are very difficult. When I walked up to the tee box on number three and it said 620 yards, I was like, God dang. <laughs> Pull out my big boy pants. <laughs> I hit the ball as hard as I could. I went to my ball. I hit it as hard as I could again. I went to my ball. I hit as hard as I could again. Still not on my green. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. Uh, the thing I like about this razor rock is it's so flat, you know, and you get a really great stroke. Three passes. Get this against the grain. And we are done. Awesome. Oh, wonderful shave. I don't even need to clean up after that bad boy. And the residual, oh man, really, really super nice. Super great shave. Get a good warm water rinse. You really wanna get all that soap off of your face to prevent any irritation down the road. Got my cheapy Walmart towel. This scent is really great. I mean, it is, it's very, like I said, it's very complex, but it's very pleasing. I, I really like it. Looking forward to using this many more times. All right, now we're gonna do a cold water rinse. We're gonna close those pores up. Now I've known guys uh, they, they, they put their towels in the freezer and they use, uh, a frozen, a frozen towel, break out the Lancaster, which I hear he's having a drop soon. So if you ha have not scored a Lancaster, I strongly suggest you jump on the Lancaster bus because it's, it's absolutely incredible. Got my Thayer's Witch Hazel here. I'm getting low on. I'm going to have to get some more from Amazon. Now, I put my whip chasel all over my face and my neck because I shave my neck as well. And this is a facial toner, so it gives you that nice glow, nice even glow all the way across your face. Now, just drag that brand new Aster across my face. I've got some nice skin food. Now, the thing about this Ariana and Evans is a little bit goes a long way. 
And this just gives your face a nice little cushion. It makes it feel really good and strong and taut for the whole day. Really great after a straight razor shave or a, a hair shaper shave. Because those things can be quite aggressive. Wonderful stuff, this Ariana and Evans. And the Barrister and Man. When you got really great quality products, you know, it's just it's just awesome. And of course, we are finishing off with the matching splash. Great artwork on this thing, Will. I absolutely love it. Oh, man. I like what you did with this one, Will. I really do. I think it just came out wonderfully. Mm. Oh, yeah. I can really get the bergamot, the clary sage. Absolutely love it. Wonderful scent. Folks, thank you so much for joining me on my channel. And I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. And I'll see you again real soon on Dougie's Shaving and Shave Tech.